And my stunning lesson I did for the 2016 candidates, well, first of all, for the 2016 chess candidates, I had six months. I had six months. Um, I had six months to prepare, so it was definitely a little bit different. What I would say, though, is I've taken a lot of the lessons that I learned from that event, and I'm trying to, like, you know, I've sort of taken them to heart in terms of how I'm approaching this event. And uh, I am studying, don't get me wrong, but I, I, ha I have a camp. I, ha I have everything sort of, I'm setting things up in a certain way. And, um, and I will be studying, but objectively it will be less than I did in 2016 for sure. Okay, let's play the orangutan or the Polish opening here. Pyramids were power plants, yes. Yeah. Go here. No, I prefer to believe in the other pyramid. I prefer to believe in the the Stargate pyramid theory. Uh, that's a cool theory. That's a much cooler theory. Let's go knight of three here. Would I like to meet some ancient chess players and destroy them? Not even destroy them, just play against them. I mean, probably Capablanca is the only one. Uh, well, outside of Fisher, of course. But the problem with Fisher is, like, if I ever could meet Fisher and play him, it would either be, like, a really great experience or it would be a really bad experience. Like, I don't I don't know what it would be. It would be really great or really bad. That's the problem. I'm just going to take him up two pawns here. Should just be winning. Go B5, maybe C4 here, and then D4. Really, really nice position. Do I believe there's just one universe? No, you guys. Of course not. I mean, there, there, there's there isn't just the Milky Way galaxy. There, there are a bunch of galaxies. Um, D four ninety two. Go ninety two here. Let's take the night. <laughs> That's just castle. Next is going to say the moon landing was fake. No, I mean, Buzz Aldrin. Amazing. I actually, I reread uh, Michael Collins' book very recently. Um, the book that he, he he wrote. So, yeah. You, you know how I feel about that one. Let's go Bishop D4. Now, my opponent has some dead pieces here all over the place. Uh, I play end peasant, and now we win all the materials here. I also have uh, some kind of pyramid here. Thank you so much to Van Pelt for the eight months. Thank you so much to Scotty Van Pelt for the uh, eight months. Let's take and take the Rook on A7. Should be pretty good here. Do I believe in conspiracies? And if so, which ones? Um, Not really. It's just not, not my thing. Not my jam. It's just not my jam. What was the Michael Collins book? What was what was the actual title? It was uh, it was about the, it was about everything. Um, what's it called? It was called uh, Flying to the Moon, an astronaut story. 95 here. <laughs> Let's take the bishop here. Uh, I'm going to go a7 um, and put the bishop on a7. Or, or not put the bishop put the pawn on a7 and just guard with the wooden shield. I don't understand en passant at all. It's a it's a it's 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 a French uh it's a French maneuver, so I mean just like a lot of things that are French, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh let's go Queen G4, create the right triangle. Speaking of proper like Greek, uh Greek math, which Greeks, of course, are very good at math. Uh let's go Queen G7 and let's keep going. Um all right. I'm on a roll today. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. Let's go knight c6 here. Franklin or Teddy, uh, both were great presidents. I mean, as somebody who really likes nature, though, the whole the park, the national park system and all that stuff that was instituted under under Teddy. I mean, for me, that's like uh, that, that makes him like almost number one in my book. As somebody who loves nature, let's go knight g6 here. Um, let's go bishop c5, d6, create this great diagonal. Maybe f5, f4 to reopen. Yeah, let's play f5, f4, reopen the diagonal. Should be pretty good here. I'm green. I mean, I, I didn't say I'm green, but I mean, I really do like nature. 
Uh, let's go knight f6 here. Maybe f4 open up the uh, open up the king side at some point. Am I interested in philosophy? Once upon a time, I was, and I, then I started reading all all that jazz. Um, you know, re, re, reading re, reading reading like uh, reading Socrates, reading Kant, reading reading Nietzsche, all that all that stuff. And I mean, at some point, it's just like, I mean, it just doesn't do it. I mean, it just doesn't do it for me. Let's go Bishop F5 here in castles. Bishop F5 was a bad move. Uh, Teddy Roosevelt wrote about a Sasquatch encounter. Good one. Jeez, jeez. Let's go knight d3 check. <laughs> I read it. Jeez. Okay, let's take the knight on g1. Uh. I don't even know what I'm supposed to say right now. You guys are just making me go way off the way off the deep end. Let's play rook h3 here. I'm just gonna take the pawn here, hit the rook here. Problem with philosophy is you can make an argument for almost anything. Well, well, yeah, that, that's why I don't like philosophy is for that exact reason. Because like if you read Kant and you talk about say God, for example, it's like you get, you, I mean, either you believe or you don't believe. Like you have, you have no way to prove anything. So it's like just arguing for the sake of arguing. Um, okay, let's play, what's a good opening that I can play here? Let's play, this is, let's play the Saragossa opening in honor of the great Spaniards. That's the best part of philosophy is that is that you can just just argue. Okay, let's take and go knight of three. Agnostic. Oh, I didn't I didn't really say that. I'm just saying that like either you believe or you don't believe. That's that's what it comes down to. And like there's no proving it. And so like like reading 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 where like can't just keep keeps going on that topic forever and ever and ever. Like either you believe or you don't believe. Make up your mind. That's that. Like what 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 are you really arguing about when you can't? I mean you can't prove you can't prove anything. Like you just you just can't. It's it comes down to personal belief. Um, let's go knight d4 here. Hit the bishop on e6 here. <laughs> then go bishop h3 and queen e2. You can't. <laughs> but why can't you? Exactly. Yeah. Go here and queen e2. Yeah. But yeah, I I mean there was a time when I read some philosophy and I was just like. I was like, enough is enough. Like, I just can't deal with it. Just take the rook and take on e7 here. Uh, let's take the take the bishop here. Maybe bishop g5. Einstein said we know about three percent of the knowledge that exists in the universe. So yeah, you can't really know for sure. Oh, I totally agree with that. I totally agree. I don't think we know. I, I don't think we know anything. I bet in like 500 years, uh, the us us modern humans right now will look like total like. Total, total uh, we'll, we'll look like uh, Neanderthals. Let's play Queen G7 checkmate and let's keep going. All right, let's play. Um, I played the orangutan. What is this opening? The, let's play the let's play the Anderson opening with A3 B4. Chat is pretty chill and entertaining. Yeah, this is a very it's been a very entertaining stream so far. Um, okay, let's go Bishop B2 here. Do I believe in string theory? I mean, I've, 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 I watched some stuff. I've read a lot of stuff around that. I mean, not, I, I don't think there's going to be a unifying theory personally. That's, yeah. that's just what I would say. I doubt, I doubt it, but again, you never know. Science is pretty amazing. Hey, yo. to Jarlin for the five months. It was entertaining until you said Atlantis is not real. <laughs> okay, okay, chat. Okay, okay. Let's play ninety two. Play knight f three here. Um, good take. <laughs> uh, okay, let's play e three and bishop d three. Yeah. There's D3 in castles. Uh, do I believe in God? Okay, I mean, I, I don't really like talking about these things, so I, 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 I don't want to go into that. I guess what I would say in, in, in regards to that one, that topic very briefly though, is I do, I don't believe it's as much as like, we just live and we die. I think there's more to it. I just don't know what, what that more is. That's what I would say. That's just what I would say. 
I think there's more to it. I don't know what that more is, but I think there's more to it. I don't think it's as simple as we're just like, we're born, we die, and that's it. Um, so that, that's just my take. All right, I can play C5 here. I can take on A3. I can go Knight C4 and go from that. Go from that. Reincarnation. I mean, I'm just saying. I, I just don't think it's as simple as we live and we die. I think there's much more to it. Uh, let's go Knight C4. Am I scared about death? No, you guys, because I expect to live forever. I, I mean, I assume science is going to get us to the point where we all live forever, right? I mean, we're, we're all, I, I assume within the, within the next 50 years, like they'll be able to take us out of our body and put us in another body um, and go from there. Okay. All right, so I can just play bishop takes a3, uh, maybe knight d6 next move. All very good. Cyberpunk? Oh, is that cyberpunk? Yeah, maybe maybe that, that is. Taking take. Am I studying less than I did for the 2016 candidates? Well, first of all, for the 2016 chess candidates, I had six months. I had six months. Um, I had six months to prepare, so it was definitely a little bit different. What I would say though is I've taken a lot of the lessons that I learned from that event. And I'm trying to like, you know, I've sort of taken them to heart in terms of how I'm approaching this event. And uh, I am studying, don't get me wrong, but I, I, ha I have a camp, I, ha I have everything sort of, I'm setting things up in a certain way and um, and I will be studying. But objectively, it will be less than I did in 2016, for sure. It will be less. I can play D5, I can go E5 here. I can also just play like Bishop C3 and Rook B1 and go from there. Uh, let's go to 95 and trap. Oh wait, I didn't trap the Rooks. If I take, I get mated. I gotta be careful. I gotta be a little bit careful. Okay, now I can take because the diagonal is closed and it's all very good here. Do I have my team ready? Of course I do. How many people this year's candidates have never been before? Uh, okay, so Team War played, I've played, Fabiano's played, that's three. So Team War, Ding, myself. Team War, Ding, myself, Fabiano, we've all played, that's four. Duda has not played, Rapport has not played. Nepo has played. So Duda, Rapport, and Ali Reza. So five people have played before and three have never played before. Go C6, Bishop, B4. Uh, if they could black mirror copy or mine in a chess side, would you let them? Hell no. I would never do that. No, no, no chance. Uh, let's take and go mate. No, no chance, no chance. No chance. All right, let's play the Freds. Let's play the, uh, or let's play the Fred. A team where only played half a candidates, right? No, he played uh, the entire candidates in 20, 2013 when Magnus won, I believe it was. Let's go D5 here. Take the bish, take the pawn here. In fact, the older person to ever live with a French woman who lived in 122, yeah, Jean Calmont, of course. Um, go here. But yeah, once once we learn how to transfer everything into into a new body, we'll, we'll live forever. Good e6, queen d7. I'm actually in bad shape here after this opening. Yeah, is the fret even that bad? Yes, it is actually quite bad. Clueless, yeah, clueless, yes, I'm totally clueless. It's definitely not that simple. Well, no kidding, guys. Of course, it's not that simple. I mean. Go here. I have played the Blackmore Dem Demer Gambit. Yeah, I have. Let's go here. All right, now I can play like C5, maybe try to open up the position a little bit. Go here and trade. Do I believe in aliens? Thank you for that. Um, this guy's playing really well. All right, let's see. I guess I'll go G5 here, try to open up position. Go here, okay. 
No, for a second I for a second I thought maybe, but nah, it's there's nothing going on. For a second I, I was a little bit sussy, but no. Um there are traces of life in Pluto. Yeah, of course on Pluto there's um uh there, there's probably like is is there water? No, there's no water on Pluto, right? Pluto's uh, is like I don't know. Anyway, let's let's just take the rook here. Let's take the pawn, go h5 here and king f6. There's ice, yes. Uh, let's go rook c8. Let's go here in rook g8. Pluto is a god and he exists. No, Pluto is a dog and he exists. That's what you meant to say. Um, okay, let's see. Let's keep going. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's play c5 here. <laughs> Canceled. Play v6 and bishop v7. I'm not wrong, right? Pluto's a dog, right? Yeah, Pluto's a dog. Yeah, what? Why are you guys acting so weird? Go g6, bishop g7. What? Okay, what? Okay, let's go d6 here. This fever is a bit of a dream fever. Yeah, the speed run is like. I'm having trouble being serious today because there's too much weird stuff in chat going on. <laughs> so let's go B5. Okay, I'm gonna go Knight F6 here. Um, Pluto is Twitch staff. That wouldn't be shocking if there's actually a user called Pluto who is part of Twitch staff. That really would not actually be shocking if there's someone on Twitch staff who, who has the username of Pluto. <laughs> Go queen a5 here. Put pressure on a diagonal towards the king. I'm threatening knight e4 and bishop c3. It's all pretty good so far. Didn't be about hang upon. I was basically playing a gambit on the uh, on the queen side. That's why. Yeah, I was basically giving up a pawn. I was playing a Benko Gambit where he takes a pawn, I castle, and he takes, and I just play on the queen side. So I was aiming for like sort of a um, uh, a Benko Gambit. Maybe the SC chess. The idea of this, this speedrun is based on playing all the openings. I will not play in the candidates. I'm hoping that Fabiano and everybody else is simply overstudying. They're looking at, they're wasting 30 hours of their life going through a speedrun, looking to see what they think I'm not going to play in the candidates turn. They're going to cycle, they're going to do psychoanalysis. See all these openings and be like, well, he played this in the speedrun, so he can't play it in, he can't play it in the candidates, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, of course, if this does happen, um uh if this does happen, uh and an opening that I play in speedrun does occur in the candidates, I will be gifting 500 subs to the community. So it is not a joke. Thank you to Shajarlin for the five. Thank you, Samuel Olarson as well. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. So yeah. All right, let's see what he does. All right, so he goes rook c1. I guess I'll go bishop f5 here. 500 for each time. Then you can't do No, 500 times that an opening occurs. So, for example, say we get, um, say we get, what's a good example? Let's just say we get a, uh, uh, we get a King's Indian, for example. If I play the King's Indian speed run, then I will get 500 subs for that one game. Let's just say I play the uh, Fred in the candidates, and I have a game that I played it in the speed run. I have to give it another 500 subs. So up to. Um, 500 times 14. I can't do 14 times five. So up to 7,000 subs I could have to gift if we got all 14 games. There is the car. Oh, there, there actually was a Twitch staff whose username was Pluto. That, 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 like I said, that's not too shocking. How many players do I think I play simultaneously whilst blindfold? Well, you guys, I'm not young anymore, so I don't know. I don't know. I once upon a time I could do like 15. I, I did 15 once. And I've done I've done five or six a couple of occasions. I'm gonna say it's probably somewhere around eight. If if I'm truly focused, uh if I'm if I'm truly focused, I uh, probably eight, I think. Eight to nine pretty safely. Um is is my guess. Okay, let's see. So I can take on D3 here and trade on C3. Oh, Pluto's now in XUC's chat. Okay. Let's trade. Oh, let's go 97, maybe 95, maybe knight f6. Yeah, only about 15, I would say. Let's go f6, 95. There's going to be people analyzing the stream with a spreadsheet. Yeah. Go here in rook b4. 
Uh, I play Fabian in the first round because we're both representing America and to avoid collusion because of course uh, we, we we're, we're both Americans to, to avoid the the risk of collusion um Fabian and I have to play in the first round so that we don't play in the last round of the event where somebody could toss a game so I, I actually do know that I'm playing Fabian in the first round I don't know if I have the white piece or the black piece in the first game that I don't know I think the pairings come out I do believe they I do believe they're supposed to release the pairings ahead of the tournament not just like the day before uh, but I'm not certain thank you to Shadok for the gift of sub to Pluto thank you so much to Shadok um thank you so much for the gifting a sub to Pluto five month re five month uh sub of the channel go work up seven the c4 c3 just run the pawn up and we get the win where are the ads advertising what happened hmm? okay let's play the England gambit he doesn't accept it so I guess I'll go knight six. So let's play the uh McKenna's defense Lithuanian variation let's go knight g6 here they didn't have dirty with the character selection picture uh I didn't I didn't make the layout Let's go, let's go knight six and attack the pawn at e4. Uh, eighth floor will be ding, Lorenzo, you guys. Eighth floor will be ding. Add more ads, please. More ads, ads, ads. Okay, I take the bishop. Let's go check, hit the king. I have knight e4, free pawn, free knight, sorry. So everything is kind of collapsing for black here. Why do I highlight certain squares? Because they're pieces that are under attack. It's not random. So yeah. So he plays a3 i guess i'll take the knight go for checkmate in one here and there we go next game what are we up to we're almost up to 1400 i think i'll try to get to 1400 and of course i'm not gonna play d4 in the candidates right or maybe i will play d4 i just won't play the black mardemer um am i hungry no i had a pretty good breakfast this morning i had some quinoa with like some kale and uh some some pesto sauce and some chicken okay let's take it with the queen here oh uh, let's go bishop b5 here Let's go bishop e3 maybe i just castle um quinoa yeah quinoa yeah just castle chicken for breakfast hell not we're here in america you eat meat breakfast lunch dinner you meet three times a day gotta support the meat industry you guys all right um <laughs> all right uh he goes rook b8 i'm just gonna keep attacking with h4 g5 here yeah good g5 my teacher was in the u.s and had waffles with fried chicken you ever had that uh that's a southern dish i believe i think waffles with fried chicken is a southern thing i haven't actually ever had uh waffles with fried chicken but um here in the uk you get shot dead for having chicken for breakfast um pretty sure in the uk you can't easily get a uh get a firearm so i'm not so sure that i believe that let's go c3 here all right um so we're gonna play the saragossa opening let's play e4 here or, no actually this is turned oh whoa e4 is a horrible move by me because this turns into the king's pawn opening the mcleod attack again i don't know why mcleod attack whatever that means um but i'm just gonna go g3 I, mcleod attack sounds like some scottish thing okay let's go 92 here play knight so you card the pawn f2 uh, I guess I'll go queen e2 here just keep it simple I should play the black mardemer gamp more often yeah absolutely let's go f4 maybe f5 uh but actually I should take with the knight because I still I still can push the pawn in the center I have a lot of a lot of a lot of play here go here trade with the knight steak for breakfast steak yeah I'm gonna go g4 I'm just gonna attack here again I don't even care I literally don't care let's go d4 build the center use the open file and just crush 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 on the g file it goes knight f6 was a good move I guess I'll go here in castles uh, I have played the Danish gambit I probably will play it more too he goes there I mean I don't I don't particularly care I'm just gonna line up a double stack or maybe a triple stack even it's like rook g1 this is looking very scary for black let's get the double let's keep attacking here on the king side I will take with check I will take the knight this should just be winning for me when is world probably once I get to 1400 we'll take a break do world do an article do do some other stuff this must be winning let's go check check uh let's go check king has no square he's under attack block I take if he takes he gets mated yep gg let's keep going 
Oh, we did Reddit yesterday, you guys. We did Reddit. Um, okay, let's play the England Gambit again. It's just a very, very England open England Gambit, the Hartlaub, Charlotte Gambit. Again, more opening names that sound very questionable at best. I don't really believe that's the name of this. But yeah. But H6 here. Yeah, more more uh, more more silly names that I just don't believe in. I didn't do Chessel, no. I was watching a stream and had videos from YouTube. Uh, I, I had to take a break because I had a business call to jump on during the stream. Uh, so because I had a business call to jump on, I just, I just started playing YouTube videos for like 10 to 15 minutes. Um, let's just cast Castro Long here. I have Bishop takes H2 check maybe. Looks pretty good for me. Canada's tournament starts uh, on June 16th. Okay, let's go, uh, um, let's go G5, H5 maybe. I can also take and play H5. Yeah, let's, ooh. That was surprising. I go 94. Castrol. Yes, you guys. So that's what Felix calls it. He said Castrol. Instead of saying it was a draw, he said Castrol. Let's go knight f2 and queen f2 here. Yay! You mean how did he find checkmate? A guy who played 20 plus years of chess. You know why there's CN3 for the seven months. Thank you so much. I mean, it's chess is a hard game. If I had to play the cancer right now, how well do you think you do? I don't know, you guys. I think I do just fine. I mean, as long as long as I just enjoy, I have fun. The good things happen. It's no worries. Will it be? Will there be recaps of the candidates tournament? Um, that remains to be seen. I haven't really decided yet. Um, I'm not sure, honestly. Uh, let's just go bishop e6 here, maybe. All right, let's see. I'm going to go uh, King B8, maybe Queen B6 here. Just read your New York article. Grats on the publicity. I didn't have anything to do with that article, so it kind of came as a surprise to me, um, to, to be quite frank. We will be reading that article on stream because I haven't actually read the article. I was told it was pretty good, though. Thank you to Oron Light for the nine months, so uh, I'll take a look at that later on. Once again, you guys, we are... What do we have? We have 69, 69 subs. We got to get to 7K, you guys, and push towards 8K. Because at 8K subs, I'm going to be wearing my loafers, a uh, loafer ananas I'll, bu I'll buy those uh, black back pi black pineapple loafers uh and i will wear them during the candidate so we need to get to ak you guys we got to push go uh queen c3 maybe 95 here actually i wonder did the price go up did the price go up oh the price went down oh man price went down you guys wait price went down it says 431 the price went down two dollars it got cheaper. It got cheaper. Anyway, let's get back to the chess. Um, it got cheaper. Okay. Let's go 95. So we got to we got to get to seven. We got to get to uh, not seven. Sorry, we got to get to AK sooner as opposed to later. Yeah. Yeah, we got we got to get a to AK you guys because that way uh, that way we save two bucks. We need a JP for the six months. Need Alessana for the prime. Thank you so much. A 0.5% discount, that's, that's pretty serious, yeah. Five before it's 433 again, or does that mean that, I bet that means the market is up, right? Market is up, surely. Let's see, let's reload. The market's got, yeah, mark, NASDAQ's up 1%, so, so of course the US dollar's crushing it, and yeah, that makes perfect sense. Insane, insane action. insane okay he goes queen b5 here uh let's go c6 here hello candidate how are you today i'm doing very very well let's take Just got a new all-time puzzle rush record of 31. Don't laugh at me. Congrats. That's fantastic. It's not about it's not about like comparing yourself. Um, it's about your own personal best, and that's that's fantastic. Thank you so much to disputed RR for the prime. Okay, uh, obviously I'm not playing D4 in the candidates, right? Or am I? Let's play more black more Demer because people were saying that it's a good opening to play. 
Will I ever play again at Coffee Chess after moving? Well, I mean, I'll have to go to California at some point later, probably this year again. Um, so maybe there's there, there's probably a pretty decent chance. Please disclose any paid promotion. There's no paid promotion. Uh, I, in my in my Discord, someone sent me pictures of those loafers. I want to wear them. Yeah. So we're playing Scandinavian Defense, the modern martial variation with 4C4. Don't ask me about this one either. Thank you, Scotty, for seven months. Uh, let's go C5 here and Knight C3 maybe. Oh, what was that? Can we get a huge yeah if you win the candidates? I suppose. Let's go here. You can go d5 here. I'm just going to keep attacking. Probably I'm going to go bishop b2 and open up a diagonal if I can. Makes more sense. Put pressure on g7. If he takes, g7 hangs. Hmm. I didn't think he would actually take, but... Let's just go here in castles. Will Benjamin be doing commentary? Yes, he will be. I think it did Kenny Murders for the Prime. Thank you so much to Kenny Murders. Appreciate it. Thank you. This Bishop G4 now. Um, I guess I'll just castle. The worst part is the cancel take place while I'm hiking with no internet. I'll be counting on you, Hikaru. Oh, that's not so good. If I started a candidate's prep, yeah, I have to some degree. But again, I'm not going to talk about any of that really in depth. Let's just go back. Thoughts on the New Yorker article? I haven't read it yet. We're gonna once I get to 1400, we're gonna do our we're gonna do the the world chessel everything else, and then we're gonna cover the article because I was told that it's a good article. So pretty soon, probably in about 30 minutes or so, we'll we'll be covering it. Maybe less, depending. Do I ever have a dream? Uh, everybody has dreams. Everybody has dreams. But yeah, again, you guys, it's only a chess turn. I'm, I'm doing what I'm doing, and we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I'm not. I'm not stressing. I'm not losing sleep over it. It's just. It's just a chess turn. What's the big deal? Let's take the knight. Let's take with check, and the pawn is guarded by the bishop. Oh, some people don't have dreams, really? Wait, seriously? Wait, are you wait, people don't have dreams? Uh, is that is that like a disorder or Oh, no, no, no. I, yeah, I guess it, it, I guess if you're blind, if you're blind that makes sense. But I mean like somebody somebody who can see? Is that really a thing like for someone who can actually see they they don't dream? They don't ever dream? Most people don't dream. Well, it's, no, but I'm saying never dream. I don't say, I don't say, like, I'm not saying, like, the people can't, like, just have, like, seven hours and not dream. Hey, Jixie for 27. Not, not dreaming, it just means you don't remember the dream, okay. Oh, let's just take the pawn on F2 here. Everybody dreams, they just don't remember the dreams? Okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay, everyone dreams, but you but you just don't remember it. Okay, fair enough. I've I've had dreams that I do remember for like years. Like I've had dreams that like stay in my mind for years. Um, let's just go. Uh, let's just go here and I mean, what am I gonna do? Let's just take, I guess. Go check here. Bishop guards the knight. Queen guards the bishop, or queen's gonna capture the bishop. Take the bishop. Life is a dream. Yeah, life is pretty amazing. Okay. Um, do I have a way to make a checkmate? I don't. I guess a check. He resigns. Let's keep going. You get a Pellegrin X for three months. Thank you so much. What do I think of Djokovic losing in the first round? I'm not gonna play e5, of course. Uh, I was shocked. I was shocked. But do I play Elephant or Latvian? Elephant or Latvian? But let's play the Latvian. It's it's a good good opening. It's actually not, but I'll, I'll make it work. No, I was kind of surprised to see he lost in the first round. But again, on the other hand, he, he just he hasn't played much at all. I mean, he hasn't played tennis. It's like, I don't even know what number match that was that he's played this year. So Queen E7, Knight of 65. I played the Latvian. Yeah, uh, Forsen played the Latvian too. So if Forsen played it, it's got to be a great opening. 
Yeah, Novak lost to some uh, Span. I think it was a Spaniard, maybe Argentinian, if I'm not mistaken, on the first round of uh, Monte Carlo Grand uh, Monte Carlo ATP event. Yay! Thank you so much to Buck Naked for the 15 months. Thank you so much, Buck Naked. Now I take even material, great development. I can castle, target, target everything on the D file. I put, played the toilet variation. Very funny. Let's take the pawn. Oh yeah, I lost to David Dovich. Yeah. Let's just trade in castle here. I guess I'll just take the pawn. Why not? So this should be the second to last game. Is XUC on my candidate's team? Of course he isn't because he's too busy streaming 20 hours every day. And it was on clay, which was even more surprising. And Djokovic lost, I mean, Djokovic lost the first set. Then he won the second, he won a very tight second set. And they just lost 6-1 in the third, which is also very weird to see. Let's trade. Have I ever played Anatoly Karpov? Yes, I have actually. I played Anatoly Karpov in San Sebastian, Spain in a classical game in 2011. And I d5, of course, once I get the four connected, it should just be pretty smooth. Should be pretty easy to win this. Let's put the pawns on the up opposite color of the bishop so that the bishop can't touch anything. Um, uh, it's better that, that this bishop can't touch anything. Let's go here. Now I will take his bishop, and I should win the game. All right, let's keep going. I think we have one more, then we're 1,400. Uh, I did win against Anatoly Karpov. I did. Um, let's play e5, because, of course, I'm not going to play it. Um, let's play c6. This is... Uh... I have to be careful. Knight f6, this could occur in the candidates. So uh, if I go knight f6, it could occur. So let's go f5 here. Let's be careful. I need a chrysalis for the four months. Okay, let's go d5. Build the big black center here. I really do like my position. Let's take the pawn. Whoa, I'll go back. Play h5 here. Go bishop d6, knight e7. Um, what happened to, to Misha, the kid that made, made Karpov cry? Uh, uh, I think I think he's still playing. I, I haven't heard anything lately. I'm going to go e3 and chuck a pawn because the knight lacks development here. Can't come to f3, so I'm going to go knight f5 castles. And he's got bad pieces everywhere. Bad bishop, bad knight. Free, free hand to attack on the queen side here. Go here. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's not going to get it done. All right. That's pretty good. Okay. So let's stop the clock. Um, and we are going to move on. You guys are going to take a break from the speed run for right now. And I will come back to it very shortly. Um, let me, let me see where are we going? Yeah. So we're going to, we're going to move on to our chessel and everything else. So unfortunately we're going to go into emote mode for the next like 10 minutes. And that's that. Okay. So let's go to chessel. Let me change the scene. Um, and here we go. Here we go. All right, let's do our chessel to start with. Um 